Miami Inc. turned Kat Von D into an overnight icon, until a handful of toxic scandals toppled her budding television career. Turns out, tattoos might be permanent, but this artist's reality TV stint sure wasn't. Popular TLC reality TV show Miami Inc. followed a group of five tattoo artists as they set up shop in the trendy South Beach area of Miami, Florida. A breakout star from the series was Kat Von D. Brad is probably my number one fan, you know? So it's just weird to see like people having an effect on people that way. In 2008, Miami Inc. fans were shocked when Von D was suddenly fired from the tattoo parlor and left the show, which ended shortly thereafter. Quickly offered a spin-off series called LA Inc. also on TLC, Von D returned to her California hometown, and for this reason, her sudden departure was chalked up to a bad case of homesickness. LA Inc. was in production for only four seasons. The possible truth about why Kat Von D was fired from her first reality show reveals there's a lot more to know about this controversial TV star than what appeared on the screen. Most troubling of all are allegations that Miami Inc. producers downplayed several instances of anti-Semitic behavior on Von D's behalf, such as writing an anti-Semitic slur on her own headshot, which she then gave to her boss on the show, Ami Janes, who is Jewish per TMZ. She had also been romantically linked to TV star, motorcycle mechanic, and customizer Jesse James, captured on video in 2010 performing a Nazi salute in Nazi uniform. Since leaving Miami Inc., Von D has also been criticized for her affiliation with the anti-vaxxer movement, which she denies. I am not an anti-vaxxer. Um, what I am is a first-time mother. According to Screen Rant, Kat Von D is also currently managing her recovery from substance use disorder. But while she was filming Miami Inc., Von D was allegedly drinking heavily. In addition to alcohol, Von D was also abusing diet pills at the time. According to Detox to Rehab, Von D has been sober since 2007, and in 2012, she spoke to Rosie O'Donnell about her recovery. She admitted, Being sober means that I operate better and I function better. I believe I am meant to be that way. Perhaps I can lead by example by showing that if I can do it, you can do it too. I had made a promise to myself when I started professionally tattooing that if there was anything that ever would get in the way of my ability to tattoo that I would cut it out. She added, When I realized that drinking was getting in the way, I woke up one day and said, I don't want to drink anymore, and it stuck. In 2020, she also distanced herself from Kat Von D Beauty, the cosmetic company she founded. Many speculate that several of the issues Kat Von D faced in her new endeavors were similar to what producers confronted while filming the show that made her a star, according to New York Daily News. Besides Von D's own personal issues during her time filming Miami Inc., she and shop owner Ami Janes were often at odds during the first two seasons of the show, and he ended up sending her packing. Von D seemed to understand it wasn't a good fit, saying, quote, it didn't end up pretty, and it was time for me to go home. She also called the show monotonous and repetitive in an interview with Inked Magazine in 2008. But more recently, Von D is dealing with a legal conflict in relation to her work. In 2022, photographer Jeff Sedlick brought a copyright infringement suit against the tattoo artist and reality TV star over a 1989 photograph he took of the jazz musician Miles Davis, a copy of which showed up in a Von D tattoo, New York's Fox 5 reported. Typically, such reinterpretation of a work of art might be protected under fair use, but in the first case of its kind, experts determined on Sedlick's behalf that Von D's version was copied, which justified a suit against her per the Copyright Alliance. Von D wrote in a legal filing, Holding tattoo artists civilly liable for copyright infringement will necessarily expose the clients of these artists to the same civil liability anytime they choose to get tattoos based on copyrighted source material, display their tattooed bodies in public, or share social media posts of their tattoos. That is not the law and cannot be the law. As of 2023, the court case was ongoing. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.